Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Jibber Jab Reviews. Well, there's been a lot of chatter in online forums about Samsung smartwatches not being very accurate when it comes to taking various fitness measurements, so I thought I would run my own tests on four of Samsung smartwatches just to see which one was the most accurate when it came to counting steps. And to maintain the accuracy, as well as a sliver of credibility to these tests, I've purchased a manual step counter. And this is a really high-tech device here. It enables you to click a lever every time you take a step. So I'm going to be using this to keep track of my actual steps. And then I'm going to be running through three different interval tests. First, I'm going to run a 100 step count, then a 500, and I'll finish off with a 1000 step count for the same device. We'll see how the watches perform during each of these intervals, and we'll see what kind of margins of errors I also get along the way. And after each interval, I'm gonna reset the counter, so then it's effectively three new tests instead of just one longer one per device. I'll show you the results of all the tests, and then at the end, I'm gonna post all the information together, and I'll let you know which device came out on top as the most accurate. Now in the future, I may run other tests such as Floors Climbed, but for today, we'll focus on step counts. Okay, let's go for a walk and get this test started. All right, so I started the first three tests on the Gear S3, and I actually did a short 100 step test just the other day so I could get comfortable using the manual clicker and to try and maintain a similar stride distance between each step. Now that being said, I would still factor in a small margin of error between my actual steps and the clicker count, perhaps plus or minus 5%. And since I can't reset the actual step count on the smartwatch each time I ran a test, I just simply subtracted the total count I got on the previous interval to come up with a total steps count for the interval I just finished.
All right, guys, and now for the final reveal. And maybe you're gonna be surprised by these results, or maybe not, depending on what your own personal experience has been with your device. But based on my numbers, the new Galaxy Watch Active had the most accurate results of any of the devices with the Gear Sport coming in second place. And actually, the Gear Sport was the only device that got a perfect count on one of those tests but the watch active numbers are certainly nothing to sneeze at, particularly when it was only one step off after that longer 1000 step test. Anyways, keep in mind that this was my own personal real world test, so take that with a grain of salt, but nevertheless, it does bode well for Samsung's newest smartwatch, as this is specifically a fitness-oriented smartwatch. And as I said at the beginning, I may run some other fitness-related tests on the devices in the future, so stay tuned for that. Thanks again for watching the review. Enjoy the rest of your day, and maybe even go for a walk or run if you like. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Until then, take care. Thanks again for watching our review, and if you liked it, then show us some love with a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share the video with your friends because with your support, it really helps me keep the channel going so I can continue to offer you guys discounts, giveaways, and of course, fresh content. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.